literature such as Structures of the Universe, which is the Lokakash, Geography, Rivers, Mountains, and Physical Descriptions of Hell and Heaven. Here are few summaries point. Jain Geography indicates Earth is flat. Earth is not moving. Sun and Moon moves around Mount Meru, which is in the middle of the Earth. Okay, Mount Meru is in the middle of the Earth. So Sun and Moon moves around Mount Meru, which is Earth. There are two suns and two moons exist in Jambudvip. That's where we are. Bharatkshetra is a part of a Jambudvip. And there are two suns and two moons exist. Mahavidekshetra connected with Bharatkshetra via land and mountains and rivers. So it is not like there is a space between the two. You can, because it is connected by land through mountains and rivers, okay. So Mahavide Kshetra is connected with Bharat Kshetra on south end and on the north end connected with Airavat Kshetra. Sun is closer to earth then moon. So if you look at these things and I said, what kind of giant literature is? This is all proven wrong. This is all proven wrong. And here is the explanations. But I come across that one. I will I'll I'll, I'll tell you, OK? Messages of Karnan Yoga on Jain universe related. Jain literature indicates that human personality is such that it possesses limitless desire. The greed, that's the last thing that we, we remove when we are in the process of spiritual progress. Okay, first kashai we remove was like anger, then ego, because others can see it, you are angry, or you are egoistic. Okay, you don't give any opportunity to anybody, you just wanted to, all the fame things, you just wanted to carry yourself, that kind of the thing. So, in the beginning, you remove your crowd and ego, crowd and man. Then Maya and Love is the next one will be removed during the spiritual progress. But the Love, Greed is the last one that removes before you attain Vitrak state. To help to overcome such personality, Jain literature uses the knowledge base of the universe. Now, this is the important word knowledge base of the universe known to the common people at that time and documented in the Agam. These books are written, you no, know, 2000, 2500 years ago, approximately, okay? That in such a vast universe, our existing is like a drop of a water in the ocean. This is the message, okay? In the vast universe, our existence is nothing but a drop of water in an ocean. This vast universe functions on its own rule. The time of our life span is just like a fraction of a second, nanosecond or whatever it is, as compared to the infinite time cycle of the existence of the universe. Hence, Limit your desire and remove your ego. To provide this message, Bhagwan Mahavir used the existing knowledge which people can relate to at that time. If everybody is, you is not only the Jain, 
Hindu literature is the same thing. Similar things exist in the Hindu scripture. Buddhist is the similar things and Jains have the same things actually. But not only in one in Bible, it says earth is flat and not moving. Only what happened in Bible case, in the year 14th century, 14th century, when Galileo published that earth is not flat. No, it is round and it is moving. Pope put him into jail because he made the statement against the Bible. Every word is God in the Bible. Okay, same thing Quran. Every word is God. You cannot change. That's the, that is the end of it. And you have to accept it is true. So they put him into jail. What happens? Pope wrote him a letter because he was a very popular scientist, famous person. I will release you if you accept earth is not wrong. And Galileo wanted to get out of the jail. So he wrote, wrote it back to the Pope. He said, I want to get out of the jail. And I will accept earth is no flat and not moving. But who is going to tell the earth? That doesn't change the truth. Okay. And he just, no, he left it there. But somebody has to tell the earth, you are, you are not around. That doesn't change the reality. Of course, no, before even no, his answer reaches to the Pope, he died in the jail. So that is a different story. But beauty about it, about 80 years ago, the Galileo is about 350 years ago. The Pope, 80 years ago, who, whichever the Pope was, he passed a resolution and stated that we prosecuted wrongly Galileo. So somebody even asked him, why are you doing it now? The poor guy was dead a few hundred years ago. He said, I wanted to keep our record straight. We made a mistake. He was right. Okay. And the 80 years ago, Pope declared him the innocent and changed the record. Okay, saying that one. That is the beauty about Christianity. Even though the Bible says earth is flat, he just said no. The reality is this. And if there is a truth, exist, we should accept the truth, not the Bible. Same thing about six years ago, Dalai Lama was in University of Georgia. Uh, the religious department, okay, there was a private session. And there is a somebody who was teaching Buddhism, okay, that professor asked the question, okay, sir, what about Mount Meru? Because the, whatever Jainism, you know, we took the Bhagavan Mavi to Mount Meru and did all the Abhishek's and everything. That's what the Buddhism says, the same thing. Okay, took the Buddha in Mount Meru and all their things. Now there is no such thing Mount Meru exists in the middle of the world. And Pope answered him, which is a very beautiful answer. Pope said, there is no such thing as Mount Meru. And the professor said, but your mythology, 
लाइक इफ आई लुक एट इट अवर चैत्य वंदन और प्रतिक्रमण द माउंट मेरु एंड ऑल दीज थिंग्स आर यूज सिग्निफिकेंटली एवरीवेयर इन स्तवन सेन चैत्य वंदन सेन अनोथोइज सेन ऑल दैट थिंग्स हियर द लाइल अमा सेज देयर इज नो सच थिंग इज माउंट मेरु and that's about 6 7 years ago i'm not uh, talking no any any longer time and he said sir what you do you know what you are saying and he said yes i know perfectly he says if there is a truth and buddha's word if i have to choose between the two i will choose truth but not buddha's word and he added one further statement this is what buddha told me to do okay if there is a truth if we we have to choose between the truth and himself buddha choose the truth okay this is the dalai lama i i got the copy of the blog put it into e library and the whole article and the professor is already there now okay what i'm trying to say the the world is changing you cannot deny the truth which particularly the truth which is physically verifiable okay if it is a physically verifiable and it's verified not a single jain acharyas no indicated earth is round and moving and all the present knowledge of all the things what i listed if we continue like this i don't think any of our kids will come to jainism that much i know even not here even in india we are heading towards disaster because how long you can continue on truthful things which is physically verifiable i mean it's not like that there are half of the people one way and half other way or no that is like that if you ask personally any acharyas do they think they will tell you the earth is flat not a single one when on a personal level will tell you they all say earth is round and moving and there is no i am mean, no this but anyway what i'm i'm criticizing here but what i'm trying to do is make sure that something which is already true and it is because it is written in agam does not make it true because agam has so many other things in it based on time place and circumstances whatever we have it we got to be dynamic religion don't change religion principles okay which is the most beautiful things but all other things which is verifiable that is the one it is been used throughout it all right we got to come back so you know the reason why bhagwan mahavir did because he he wanted to remove our ego and he used the geographical example saying that this is a vast universe and your existence is not even drop in a uh, in a ocean drop of water in a ocean why are you making such a egoistic that i own these things and ego remove that that is the purpose in the whole geography was not bhagwan mahavir was a geography teacher he was a spiritual teacher and he used all the examples to explain the principles not this is keval gnani is and because he is a keval gnani he cannot lie he cannot cheat i mean all kinds of the things that is being happening all right it's it's a, i just wanted to 
tell you to think that this is what is happening and we have to wake up collectively okay then and then our children can remain if you look at the blog we are young teachers okay continually answering these kind of the questions okay let's go to the next one The message of Karnan Yoga Jain universe related. In other words, Mahavir used the knowledge waves of the universe that existed at that time, which people can relate to, to it easily. He explains that look at the size and the structure of the universe and the power of existence. Even the possessions and the power of Chakravarti, the Chakravarti king has no impact to this vast universe. By doing so, only you become miserable by your own action. So limit your desire and get rid of your ego, which is a karta bhav. Karnanu Yoga or Ganitan Yoga, Jain philosophy, Gunstanak, functions and structure of the universe, no explained here is a literature Surya Pragnapti, Chandra Pragnapti, Jayadavala, Triloksh Pragnapti, Triloksha, Jambudvi Pragnapti. These are the sample of literature. What I said no using Digambar and Swetambar Agam literature type things. Now we come to the third 